we have been following uh, the introduction of the martial law very carefully for the past month and i have to say that there is uh, there are three contexts so to say for this uh, decision it is uh, an inner political story uh, there is a diplomatic um, context to it and of course a defensive one so from uh, from an inner political standpoint uh, nothing really changed in Ukraine in terms of the changes that were in introduced. So for ordinary people, for the citizens of those regions who were um, where the martial law was introduced, literally nothing changed. I mean, there was no curfew, no um, specific measures on the control between these regions uh, was imposed, uh, no um, limits to the liberties so literally, if you ask an ordinary Ukrainian, um, have you have you noticed that there was a martial law? Um, they would probably tell you that we, we haven't uh, seen, we haven't noticed anything. Um, uh, there is there is also um, two important things that I need to point out. So two other contexts. It's a diplomatic uh, context and um, a defensive one. So the president is reporting that um, throughout these 30 days, the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian state was able to enforce its uh, military capacities, including anti-aircraft uh, capacities to defend itself. Of course, it's hard to say for uh, uh, not only for an ordinary citizen, but also for me as an editor and a journalist, whether I can, you know, uh, I can witness that. It's something that the president is reporting, something that the military are reporting that they indeed had this um, opportunity throughout these 30 days enforce Ukrainian uh, military capacity. Uh, on the other hand, our diplomatic um, officers, our diplomats are reporting and saying that uh, the fact that Ukraine has introduced martial law um, uh, helped them, uh, so to say, uh, to uh, scale their diplomatic um, activities, their diplomatic work also in the in, in the United Nations, for example, several a couple yes. of days ago, the yes, uh, general assembly, ongoing. you know, approved the resolution. Uh, yes, so this is so far what has been reported. Um, very much an ongoing on ground, uh, situation. Uh, for ordinary Ukrainians, nothing uh, really. Oh, Angelina Karikana, thank you very much for joining us and giving us uh, some perspective on that. Thank you very much.